Cinco de Mayo not far away. Rosanna Asensio is here. And oh, I'm always excited about Cinco de Mayo because it is always so festive and lovely and a great excuse yeah. to enjoy, enjoy Mexican culture, but not Mexico's Independence Day. Not. And that is the reason I had to come back here and remember, remind people that our Independence Day, September the 16th. Right. Cinco de Mayo is a big holiday, of course, but it's mostly the anniversary of the Battle of Puebla. Okay. Uh, a big battle fought between the French army who were trying to invade us mm -hmm. and the Mexican army. They were gr grossly un outnumbered, but they still won and defended Mexico. So that's why we celebrate it and we commemorate that battle, of course. Give me goosebumps the way you tell it. You're so well, you passionate know, about it. I you love have it. have passion. Passionate about the culture, the beautiful dressing of the set that Rosanna does Thank whenever you. she visits us. But it really feels like it and it smells like that lovely, well, that, that something special that comes with the culture. It's not just about the food, it's about the whole environment and the vibe of it. So what can we do That's what it's on Cinco de Mayo to bring these feelings well, into our home? I've been having people guess on Facebook what we're gonna be cooking today, okay. and this is it. We are cooking chalupas. Chalupas, I love chalupas. Chalupas, not like those, you know, big name things that were fake chalupas. These are the real chalupas. Okay. You can help me make some more tortillas. That's, so just put it on there and press? This is a bit of masa, just yeah. press it down, and we're gonna transfer it to the hot comal. Mm -hmm. I already have some here. And the traditional chalupas from the state of Puebla, they have this delicious red salsa made with the morita chile. I think I pressed it too hard. Oh my God, I have to go look. I think you're doing good. Hold on. Don't, Don't look it. yet. Don't, Don't look, look yet. We're I'll try fine. it again. Okay, continue. Look at the chalupas over oh, here. The chalupas. Look over here, so, everybody. Sparkly things. <laughs> After they're, they're cooked on the comal, you sp spread a little bit of the salsas on top. Yes. Or sprinkle a little, a little bit of the uh, diced onion, finely diced onion. Yum. And now what's going to happen is a fun thing because you get to transfer them into the hot oil. And watch them so sizzle. after you put the salsa on, then you fry them. Then you fry them. Isn't Never that fun. something? See, it's all about the different techniques, right? So by doing that, and it's just that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. We're just passing them quickly through I've the oil. I've never seen a chalupa like that. This Clearly, I have not been eating the right Puebla. Mexican food. And you just kind of put a little bit of the oil on top, very lightly, of course. Where do we find you? Where do we read about you? Because you have so much to share, so and we have much going so on little always. time. Exactly. Well, you can go to my website, Culinary Encanto. Encanto means en enchanted, and that's probably how you feel with the Mexican food you get to try. Yes. yes. Uh, so culinaryencanto.com is the best way to follow me. Uh, Mi metate on Twitter, which means my grinding stone, and you can learn all about it. We have this recipe on your website, of course. Nice. So you can make your own chalupas at home. So once Very we've done easy. this, do we add? This is a very traditional way of presenting them, just, just like, like that. that. But you can also add a little bit of the chicken, and this is just a poached chicken breast. Nice. And if you're like me who loves cheese, a little bit of the queso fresco, and we're ready. Where do you, you buy your, your chalupas? Your Mexican ingredients like this and this. Thankfully, everything is readily available these days in Vancouver. Twenty years ago, when we first moved here, got nothing. Right. But nowadays, you can find everything. From the serranos, yes. From the salsa verde, yes. To the chile morita, which means little berry. Mm -hmm. That's very spicy. You can find them all in Vancouver, thankfully. Our masa for the chalupas of everything else, you can find them in your local supermarket. Right. So very easy to make chalupas from Puebla to celebrate Cinco de Mayo and remember that big battle that took place in 1862. That's, That's what, what it's about. about. Okay, I'm gonna taste this after the break. We're gonna make Please. up some more. We're back to wrap up breakfast television in a moment. moment. Rosanna, so how'd do I do on this? Well, I, uh, you know, we can get a little more practice. Need, uh, you're practice. good, we can go like this. Oh, so this. Yeah. That's how I've seen them done. Just a little bit of this, this, this I did it and it went way larger.